Hey everyone, I'm Lottie Manahan and welcome to our series on guided biofilm therapy. Today we're talking about perio flow. The perio flow is a technique sensitive, so it's really important that we all know exactly how to use the perio flow nozzle correctly. The perio flow is a fantastic subgingival tool, most commonly used for periodontal pockets more than 4 mm and up to 10 mm. This is the most minimally invasive and maximally preventive way to protect the tissues and remove the biofilm effectively for the best results. The perio flow is favoured for its use around implants to treat perio implant pockets and maintain the health of implants. I find the perio flow very effective when using into and through root vacations. This is a non-surgical approach, it's very comfortable and it eliminates the need for local anaesthetic. There are several things to consider before operating the perio flow. You must ensure you have the right indications of use, so do not use straight after any subgingival treatment. When profuse bleeding or separation is present in pockets that are deeper than the mucogingival junction or next to a recently extracted site or perhaps a tooth with signs of root fracture. Ensure you are following the recommendations and have considered all the contraindications. It is very important to use the correct power, water setting, length of time and correct movement for the optimal results. Firstly, we must get the settings right. Ensure the power of the perio flow nozzle is used at 50 to 100 percent power with the water always on 100 percent. Each site needs at least 5 to 10 seconds per site depending on the size of the probing depth. When treating multiple sites on a periodontal patient ensure to check the tip of the nozzle is not bent and be sure to change after using it in 20 sites. This is important as the holes on the nozzle get bigger which can then deliver too much powder. The correct technique when using the perio flow nozzle is in vertical overlapping repetitive movements slowly entering and exiting the pocket. It is preferred for the perio flow to be used only with the tabletop devices, the master, and strictly only with the airflow plus and perio powder. Always give yourself time to practice using the nozzle through SDA training and clinical practice. The nozzle must never be pushed into pockets with force. Having radiographs and pocket charting available prior to treatment is paramount to the safety and success of the treatment. And don't forget to always check the patency of the perio flow nozzle before and during use to ensure that there are no obstructions. And that's it for today's episode of Guided Biofilm Therapy. Thank you for listening and enjoy your perio flow.